Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. Uh, we're looking at my weather station here. It's 100 degrees outside with 54% humidity and with a heat index of 123. And so I've just seen some posts on Facebook about uh, water's getting tight in some areas of Baldwin County. It just went dark on me because I got it unplugged from the charger. And I figured I would go ahead and put this quick episode up. It's very subjective, of course, but hopefully it'll be informative to you in some way. And I just want to go ahead and, it's too so darn hot, I'm going to stay in the kitchen and do this one. Uh, we're looking at my front yard, and I've been in this house since 1991, and I've never watered it in over 30 years, not even one time. And you can kind of see the contrary to this across the road. You can see how pretty and green their grass is over there. And I'm pretty sure they watered theirs. Not saying there's anything wrong with doing that. Uh, but I guess with water being tight like it is in some areas, if you happen to be in that area, you might want to consider uh, not worrying too much about your grass. Because, you know, like I said, I've never watered this. And based on my research, you know, grass can probably go about six weeks without any water whatsoever. It'll go brown, and it'll go dormant, uh, but as soon as it rains, it'll come back, and that's always been the case with my yard. Like I said, I've never watered it. And so, you know, that's something you might want to cut back on. If water gets tight in your areas, just maybe consider that. Now, I guess if you have newly planted grass, you know, it probably does need to be watered, and uh, may depend on what type, type of grass you have as well. And so you might want to research that as about what the type of grass you have and how resilient it is to, to drought conditions. But also, you may want to start considering ways to save water too. And as much rain as we get here, you know, you might want to consider putting a gutter system up and, and holding that water and some to barrels or whatever. And also, I save my condensate water for my air conditioning as well. And I've got a really good video on that. And so, uh, just keep watching, guys. Keep watching. All right, guys. I'm under the house now. And this is the second part of the video. I have an encapsulated crawl space. And so, I, I have a dehumidifier down here as a result. Uh, you have to do that if you close off all the ventilation of your crawl space. And if it's properly encapsulated. I have episodes on this. Uh, but I'm going to stay on point with the uh, condensate water I talked about earlier. And so what I have going on here is this is the condensate line, this, this white PVC pipe. And it's coming down from the air conditioning unit inside the home. Uh, I also have this condensate pump that is taking the water from this dehumidifier and it's pumping it up into this T here. So you, I know you're probably saying, well, Chuck, well, you know, that's not going to do me no good because I can't get the water up to grade. You know, well, you can do it with one of these condensate pumps, and they're not that expensive. Uh, you can get them on, uh, on online, Amazon, eBay, uh, etc. Lowe's and Home Depot may have them too. And so, works on 120 volts, and so it's pretty much like your toilet. It's got a little float valve in there, and so when it reaches a certain level, it, it pumps it up and pumps it into this line here. So. Uh, basically what I have is a three-quarter inch drain line now and I've got it marked with purple tape because it's you know I consider that gray water even though it's relatively clean uh, I've researched that as well and they uh, so far the preliminary research I've done is about like city water so I've got it coming out draining out the side of the house and it's going into this 250 gallon or it's actually 300 gallon tank and you can see that it's nearly half full. So we're looking at about uh, two weeks uh, worth of condensate water. Now, granted, this is coming from a dehumidifier, coming from the air conditioner, and it's also coming from uh, another mini split system. So I'm capturing it from every uh, air conditioning and humidity device or humidifier device I have. And so I've got it coming into this, and I've got a, this, this comes just like this. It's got this big, a valve down at the bottom and I bought adapters to get it down to three quarter inch and it's I've got it underground as well and so it's coming up and this is uh, just a 12 volt uh, pump and so I've got it unplugged right now you can see it's got the cigarette lighter adapter there but it's got a hose bib right here I got a pressure gauge on it 
and for a while there I was using this to uh, to service one toilet <laughs> and it that's why it's half empty it served that one toilet for a month and but I says well you know it's starting to get a little bit low and so I went ahead and, and switched it back to SIG uh, service but I figured I'd just go ahead and put this out there to know that let you know that this is another way uh, you can save a large quantity of, of water uh, uh, generally you're just just this air conditioner right there uh, can produce anywhere from 7 to 20 gallons of water a day so that's quite a bit and so this might be something you might want to consider doing uh, thanks for watching guys